Are you a diver? And are you using too much air underwater? Because of you, the old group must ascend too early. Do you feel bad about this? We know what do you feel. Want to learn how to reduce your air consumption? So let's dissolve the situation now. Hello from Commodore, the tropical island, just 8 degrees under the equator. We are wet from Divers, the dive center in Komodo, Indonesia. And today we want to talk to you about how to save air in your tank to make you feel more comfortable and keep your dives longer. And here are our 10 Divers secrets. Okay, let's start. Our video is based on our knowledge and experience, as well as on some consultations with other colleagues and experts in the diving industry, as well as on publications in some trade journals for the diving. Hence, watch the video until the end so you don't miss your personal secret that will help you to use less air while scuba diving. Well, we all breathe differently. The volume of our lungs differs as well. Our diving experience is individual. And also, we are in different physical forms. Even more, your personal condition may vary from dive to dive. However, some scuba diving skills that you can practice uh, will help you to reduce your air consumption. Our 10 divers' secrets for using less air while scuba diving have already helped many of our divers and guests. OK, so what's important and where to start? Take a video of yourself underwater, ask the professional or your dive buddy, Analyze your behavior and take our video for help. So, our video will help you to adjust and to get better underwater and to use less air. We show you our secrets what definitely will help you to save air on each dive. But, don't get too concentrated on air consumption only. We all dive for a pleasure of discovering of life down there and not for the goal to bring more air back on land. Okay, now is the part for all our links that you find in our description, Instagram, YouTube, our channels. Please subscribe and help us to grow. All right, let's dive in. Swim and move slowly. It sounds boring and maybe you think that then you will see less as you swim a shorter distance. But you know that, on the contrary, besides the fact that you will have more time to examine your so boring reef and simply discover more life in it that always has been there, you will enormously reduce your air consumption. Swimming fast increases your metabolism and therefore your breathing does too. So, secret number one, think this way, a fast swimmer diver uses much more air and therefore would end up running low on air much earlier than a relaxed and a slow one. If you move slowly and breathe calm, you could stay longer underwater and discover a bigger area of your dive spot. When we scuba dive, we face water resistance. Streamlining means how small is your profile underwater. You want to take up less space and drag less water with your body. The smaller you are underwater, the easier it is for you to swim. Hence, the less energy you will use that equals to less air consumption. So, if you dive in a seahorse position, you create a higher water resistance profile and you push more water. Hence, you use more air. Think about your equipment. Hanging equipment that you drag along will increase your water resistance and lead to a higher air consumption too. So, secret number two. The resistance of water to our movement is affected by the volume of water that we push in front of us. Think of it a bit as of a car. A car with a better wind resistance design is more fuel efficient. Change your seahorse position into horizontal, remember to streamline your equipment that will also create better water dynamics, secure all hoses and hanging equipment close to your body or to the deerings of your BCD, and also think about less gear gives you better streamlining. Things and flex. Your fins are your propeller underwater. If you want to move forward, you only need to kick efficiently with your fins. Sometimes we see divers driving a bicycle underwater. That is pretty much useless. They don't move. Chaotic and frequent movements with your legs will also increase your use of energy. And the type of your fins will also influence your air consumption. Too soft and flexible things kick less well. You will have to kick more often, your body will need more oxygen and as a result you will use more air. On the contrary, if your fins are too hard, it will be more difficult for you to work with them and you will use more energy as well. So, secret number three. Make sure you learn to kick with your fins calmly and efficiently, just enough to move forward. And the more efficient your fins are, the more air you save 
and the more relaxed you can enjoy your dives. So maybe it's worth it to think to invest into the pair of fins that fit you well and are just right for your dives. Your buoyancy. Buoyancy control is one of the most important diving skills. There is even a full specialty course just for that. Link to that course, by the way, is in our description. The goal of this specialty course is to achieve the weightlessness during your dive at any moment. Diving up and down will seriously increase your air consumption. You want to be in line with water, just like the underwater inhabitants. So, secret number four. Practice your buoyancy control, check that you're not carrying too much weight and improve your buoyancy. Simply look at the cuttlefish. It for sure knows how to keep the buoyancy. We might learn something from them. By practicing perfect buoyancy, you will definitely use less air and enjoy more of the diving. Pay attention to your hands. When we are underwater, we automatically get the need to hold ourselves with the help of our hands. Or we try to swim with our hands just like a swimmer does on the surface. And sometimes we even use our hands to improve the position of our body underwater. For example, some divers push off with their hands even when they want to ascend. All this requires more movements and logically more energy so that you use more air from your tank. So, secret number five. You need the minimum effort to glide underwater. Reduce the amount of your movements. Stop making unnecessary waving. Don't use your hands unless really needed. Remember, your fins are more efficient and help you to move with less energy. Don't make wings underwater and save your air. You will see, flying underwater works differently. We talk about how to use less air while scuba diving. So why would you want to simply waste your air underwater? So secret number six, very simple and straightforward. Service regularly your equipment, tanks and regulators. Change the O-rings, pay attention to the rented equipment and check and double check it before your dives. Do not freeze. If you freeze underwater, you will breathe more frequently. Also, when you freeze, your breathing might become uneven, which will influence your air consumption. You can avoid freezing too quickly by simply choosing the right wetsuit. So secret number seven. Make sure you always choose rental or buying your own one, the right wetsuit that will make you feel comfortable and warm at this again will reduce your air consumption. The feeling of warm and cold is an individual perception. Some divers feel cold even in a 5mm wetsuit and others can scuba dive in the rash guard and shorts only. So listen to yourself and decide for the best option. Another hint is that the human body is losing the most heat through the head. Hence wearing a hood might be a good idea too. Breathe calmly and evenly. If you breathe frequently and shallow, you don't exhale the high carbon dioxide dead air from your regulator and you breathe it in again. This way you get less oxygen and you want to quickly breathe in again and again and again. Automatically you are using more air from your tank. However, excessively deep breathing and especially if you hold your breath in between, you will change your buoyancy and it will lead to unnecessary movements, which again will increase your consumption. So, secret number eight, stay relaxed while scuba diving and breathe normally. Also, make sure you are relaxed on land before scuba diving. This means be on time with assembling your equipment, so don't rush, listen to the dive briefings, so don't miss useful information and get positively tuned about your dive. Just nice thoughts on your smile. Save your air in the tank. This secret sounds strange. Isn't this video all about how to save air when scuba diving? Right, that's why use your air for scuba diving. When you need to move on the surface, let's say from your boat to your descent point, you can continue breathing from your tank, but this way you will be using your valuable air before diving already. So secret number 9, hence provided the conditions allow it, you can use your snorkel and breathe through it, or simply inflate your BCD with your mouth, turn on your back and breathe the air that's so much available around you. That's a simple secret to save your air in the tank. Practice diving. Breathing efficiently when scuba diving in different conditions and situations, such as underwater photography, currents, cold waters, wave tides, limited visibility. You simply need to practice all these situations just as some other scuba diving skills. With the time your experience will grow, of course, if you dive regularly, and your skills will improve. And last but not least, secret number 10. Practice and dive regularly, as often as you can. A logical secret by Dive Center, huh, isn't it? The more you train your body and mind, the better you will get underwater. 
By the time you will see it, and your dives will become more relaxed, longer and more confident. At at one point you will realize that you have stopped watching your SPG every 2 seconds and worrying about being the weakest in the chain, but instead you will spend more time with the fish and other beauties underwater. Ah, one more thing. Please remember, recreational scuba diving is not about competition. Scuba diving is all about the feeling of freedom and weightlessness. By the way, watch also our video What is scuba diving? You'll find a link to it in our description. And find your pleasure and excitement of scuba diving. We hope our video helps you to improve your air consumption and to make you feel more comfortable, keep your dives longer and feel more relaxed underwater. Subscribe to our channel for more divers and travels information. You'll find all the links in the subscription down there. Join us on Instagram and see you in our next video or in Commodore. Bye!